Hey guys and welcome back to ZRZ. In this video we're taking a look at some official cases and bags for the Nintendo Switch. Let's take a look. Alright, so starting off with the official hybrid covers uh, for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we've got two different styles here, this is the Super Mario one and then the Zelda one here. Uh, starting off with the Super Mario one. This one retails for £19.99, but we managed to pick it up for £12.99, so if you look around you might be able to get it cheaper. And uh, inside it comes with a screen protector, um, and then a little card to apply it, uh, which is quite nice. Also, I really like this, it is uh, a cleaning cloth, which has you know, got the Super Mario logo on it, and it's the right colour and everything. I wouldn't say it's the best of quality, uh, not the greatest cleaning cloth, but it's nice to have that with it. So to get the switch in the case, uh, you can flip it up at the back and there's a velcro like attachment. So then you can place your switch in there. So make sure you have the, the holes lined up for the, the connectors. So that's the bottom where it charges. Flip that up. And then just velcro it down. It should just stick up like that. And then your ports line up at the top and bottom, all good. And then just flip it up and that's it. And it is magnetically attached as well, so the, the, the face will stay when you close it. So your Joy-Cons are like exposed um, on the sides, which is good because you can, I mean, you can just do this and start playing it, which is very quick access, but obviously the whole switch is not uh, completely protected. Uh, this is how it looks without the Joy-Cons attached. There we go. Pretty clean look, to be honest. I do like that a lot. The material is really good and it fits really tight and nice. Uh, you can't dock this obviously with this case on it's it's quite thick um, so it won't slide into your dock but I think this is a great case if you, if it's just like a um, you're using the switch in portable mode a lot so this is a Zelda one I really like this brown leather look um, it looks awesome the pattern is quite subtle on there as you can see you can catch it in the light which looks awesome um, and at the back we got a, a Zelda logo as well which is really cool and once we, once we open it you can see the pattern on that that is amazing. I love that. And same really cool material. Obviously this came with the same screen protector and everything inside. And the cloth, uh, which is awesome as well. Same material. It's in a blue colour, which is a little bit strange to be honest. But it has the same pattern as the inside. So that's how the case looks um, with the switch installed inside. Really cool. This will probably look better with the, uh, the, the black or grey control um, Joy-Cons, to be honest. I feel like it's a little bit too colourful for that look. But... Still cool, and I also forgot to show you on the other one, it, it does double up as a stand. So you've got these little kind of ridges um, on, on, the, on the cover, which you can then use uh, to use it as a stand. And I really do like that about this case because, the, as you know, the stand that's actually on the switch is not very strong. Uh, this feels pretty sturdy, and you've got different levels of uh, you know how much angle you want with the stand. So moving on to the Nintendo Switch accessory pack. So. This is what you get, I've already taken out the packaging and I've been using this case quite a lot because it's really nice. Um, and inside you get a, a screen protector as well like the other one um, and that's installed on the Nintendo Switch right now. Uh, I don't know if you can even tell um, but it's a really good screen protector, very very accurately cut and the installation was good as well so that's super cool. Uh, but that's everything you get inside and then inside you have a little slot for um, maybe like cables or anything and then game cards. So you have five game card slots. Um, in there. And just to show you, here's a game card, uh, we can slot that in there, like so. There we have five of them there. And then the switch just drops in, like that simple, fits pretty snug. Um, and I've also got these analog protectors on here, which we'll show in another accessory video, uh, so watch out for that. Um, and they still fit, even though it sticks up a bit further, it still fits on the case. Zip it up, and there we go. I like this case a lot. Um, it's got this kind of hardish material at the top but it feels high quality and there's a Nintendo logo in the middle there uh, which looks awesome quite subtle nothing too crazy um, and then at the back is a Nintendo Switch logo as well very subtle again I do like this case a lot it's quite stealthy protects it fits snug fits some games in there perfect uh, you can pick this up for £17 um, and I think it's a pretty good case definitely my top one um, also it doesn't come with this sticker on it that's just something we've stuck on it um, but otherwise it's quite a plain look. Next up we have the premium console case. Uh, this is an official case as well, an official Nintendo Switch case. Uh, these are manufactured by PDP. You've probably heard of them. So aside the packaging out, you just get the case straight up. 
and uh, pretty cool material. It's like this fabric, um, quite tough fabric material. It looks awesome with that red switch logo. I think that looks amazing. Um, and then it's just plain at the back. It has a zip, uh, which also has a Nintendo logo on it. Quite a nice little touch. Um, and then just, it just slides open like that. Um, in the pack you get a little uh, microfiber cloth. So yeah, inside you get this pretty tiny um, Nintendo Switch branded red microfiber cloth. Pretty nice though, seems decent quality. And then inside you have a bunch of card slots. How many is that? 14 card slots. Crazy. And so unfortunately I don't have 14 games to put in here to show you, but I'll show you with one card and that's how it fits. Uh, it does stick out a little bit more than the uh, than the other case I showed you, which is in some ways good so you can actually see what game it is a little bit easier, because um, otherwise it would get almost fully covered and you'll only see the top logo. Here is where the Nintendo Switch itself will go, so it's like this elastic section with a net, um, and I'll just show you the installation of that. So you can just pull that up, put that in, and that's it. So your Switch is in there now. I do like that it's got that extra protection layer at the top, um, and then you can just close it up like that. And there we go, pretty cool, definitely well protected, it's quite hard around this edge as well, so it will protect it. Um, I feel like there's quite an, a bit of extra space to maybe put something else in there, you might be able to fit like a cable or something in here as well. Um, but I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of this, this net style, only because it makes it a little bit awkward to get your switch out, because it gets hooked on the analog sticks a little bit, especially if you have these accessories on there. Um, so I feel like that's a bit awkward, it's not super quick access to your switch. Uh, unlike the case I showed you previously, where it's just zip open, bang, your switch is there ready to use. And this one costs £13, so it is cheaper than the last one, uh, but it doesn't come with a screen protector. So I guess it really depends if you've got a bunch of games to uh, store in here, uh, that'd be good. But otherwise, I'd definitely recommend the last case. Alright, next up we have the Everywhere Messenger Bag. This is another official Nintendo Switch uh, accessory. Uh, so this is a lot larger, this is something you're going to take a few more things with. So this is more of like a, uh, a bag that you're going to carry around when you're you know, travelling with your Nintendo Switch. So taking this packaging off, um, and then we can see big Nintendo Switch logo right at the front. It's pretty cool against this grey background. Um, top we have a handle. At the back we've got a compartment, a little a zip up. Uh, which you can store I don't know, things like cables and stuff in there. Uh, it's not like super big, uh, but nice little additional storage area. Then at the front, the zip is around the side. So this this is like a flap with a zip. It's quite strange, but when you actually open it, you realise that it's pretty pretty nifty uh, for accessing all of your stuff in here. So your Nintendo Switch will go in here, um, which also it comes with a case to put your Switch in, which is really cool. It's quite similar to to the other case I showed you, but it's a uh, a bit more of like a fully fabric material. Switch logo at the front, um, and then it's just got these sort of lumps so that the Joy-Cons fit in there nicely. Um, I'm just opening that up. You can see, it's nothing super high quality, but I think it's awesome that it comes uh, with this bag. And I'll also just put the switch in there right now. So it fits in very snug, as you can see. And uh, zip it up. That's it. Pretty cool, very, very well protected to be honest, considering uh, you know it's nothing too bulky. And now we'll just slide in here. Velcros, done, nice. Um, here we have a strap which you can install on the bag. Uh, this is a section for your dock, fits in there perfect. Uh, and then also at the bottom you've got another slot for um, your Joy-Con grip. And then here is just a little slot for like your cables, uh, your power adapter or any other accessories to just shove in there. And that's it. Perfect, you can just zip that up and travel around with all your Nintendo Switch essentials and you're good to go. Pretty nice bag, well padded, and this one retails for $24.99 and uh, I think it's definitely worth it if you're going to be you know, travelling to your friend's house and you want to take your Switch with you. Alright, so finally we have the biggest of the bunch, this is the uh, Elite Player Backpack. So this is a full-on backpack to carry all your Nintendo Switch goodies in, um, and there's a lot going on here, you've got a bunch of compartments and you can pretty much fit everything you need in this backpack. So, starting off at the front, uh, we have this little pocket. Uh, there is a game card symbol there, if you can see that. And um, so I'm guessing you can put your game cards here. It's a tiny little zip pocket there, and then another one here with a, with a net on it. So, if maybe you can put your games there, you can see which ones are there. Um, so that's cool. 
Moving on to the bigger pockets. So that one opens like that. Uh, so you can put your headphones in here. Uh, got a little zip up pocket for that as well. Cool. And then we've got, I'll just show you this tiny little compartment here. This one's really cool. It's like a, quite a soft feel on there. Uh, so you can put something in here that you, you don't want to get damaged. Um, so it's quite soft and protected in there. And then getting to the main big pocket um, of this bag. And this is where you can fit pretty much everything in. So everything's actually labeled. So where they want you to put the stuff. So you can put your, your Nintendo Switch in this pocket here. So yeah, that just slides in there like that. And then you've got these kind of Velcro straps to make sure they don't slide about, um, you know, your switch won't fall out um, like that. So that's cool. You've got, this is, this is six little pouches for Joy-Cons. Six. So you're never going to run out. If, you, if you've even got six Joy-Cons, you can, you can put them in here, uh, which is really cool. I don't even have my additional ones on me right now, but um, it's cool that you can put them here. Then here we have a big slot for the dock. Slide that in there as well. Yep, so the dock will just slide in like that as well. And then just strap that down as well. Quite a tight fit, but that fits. You've got a slot here for maybe a pro controller, or we can put in uh, this grip, Joy-Con grip in there. Uh, there we go. And then there's another top, there's a, like a zip pouch in there. It's actually really hard to see because it's all the way down in there. Uh, but there's a, a little zip there where you can put your cables in there. And this is quite padded as well right at the back there, so you can put like cables or any other accessories, shove them in there, it's good to go. So yeah, as you can see, a bunch of slots in this bag, um, they really do give you a, like a lot of places to put your Joy-Cons and everything really. Like this doesn't, right now, with all of this stuff in there, there's so much, that, so much more you could fit in this bag, it's definitely capable of carrying a lot of stuff. So that was a quick look at the Elite backpack. It is the most expensive out of the bunch, so it retails for $39.99. Uh, but I think it's great for, for the hardcore Nintendo Switch gamer who's got a bunch of stuff to put in here and accessories and everything, and six Joy-Cons. Um, but otherwise, the other accessories we looked at are also definitely good value for money. This is just the biggest of the bunch. So that was a look at some cases and bags for the Nintendo Switch. If you're interested in any of them, check the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.